Hello, sir. Uh -huh. Sir, can you hear me? Hello, good morning, everybody. Morning, good morning, sir. Yeah, can hear? Can hear my voice? Yes, can. Okay. Uh, have you scanned your attendant? Not yet. Not yet. Sir, not yet. The QR code is not our class. Pardon? The QR code is not our class. Not your class? Yeah. Uh, how come it's not? Yeah, uh, sorry, sorry. I will hold on. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I sorry, sorry. I all right, all right. Sorry, I will create the. There is, there is other class. Sorry, sorry. Hold on, eh? Hold on. Okay, you hold on. Uh, I, I, I want to create the attendant. Okay, now you can see or not the attendant. No, sir. No, no, not yet. Okay, hold on. Okay, now you can see or not? Yes. Yes. Okay, please scan now. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I create another class. <laughs> okay. Thank you, sir. 
Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, everybody scan your attender. Hello? Okay, I stop. Eh? I stop sharing your attendant. Okay. Alright. Good morning. Selamat pagi. Everybody. How are you today? Good morning, sir. Okay, everybody. All right. Uh, today we'll uh, we'll be a very short class actually. Yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, to discuss two things. Number one is for your assignment. Okay. So your assignment, I think you have worked on it or not? Or your assignment number one. Everybody has started working on it. Hey, one. <laughs> okay, group one, group one. Where is your Where is your progress or what Where is your planning, group one? Uh, doctor, so far we started ready. Then uh -huh. we're planning for class four, five, and so for, so far for my part, I done scope and normal reference ready. Mm. Because remember, for in, in your assignment, you there are there are three things that you need to do. Number one is quality manual. Number two is your procedures. Number three is work instruction. Okay, make sure that you you read the 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 question properly. Okay, All right. So um, group two, group two. What is your progress now? Group two. Hello, group two. Leader, group two. Hello, group two. Yeah, where's your progress so far? Where's your planning for your assignment? Hello, group two, please respond. Semua timit baca dan faham. <laughs> Baru baca dan fahamkan. <laughs> tak ada plan lagi. Are you start planning? Okay. Uh, lepas tu kami akan buat meeting, discuss lebih dalam. Okay. Okay, group uh, three. Group three. Leader group three. Hello, leader group three. Where is leader group three? Hello, where where is leader group three? Group three leader. Group three leader. No representative of group three. Okay, group four. I haven't start yet, but uh, we'll okay. on this Friday or Saturday. Okay, haven't haven't start yet. <laughs> I think you 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 should you should start. Huh? Don't, don't don't wait until last minute because uh, if you wait until last minute, I think it's it's difficult for you to complete uh, what is expected for the assignment. You must complete assignment number one, then only we can proceed with the with the next one, right? Because we want to use your quality manual, your your work instruction, your procedure uh, for the next one to for for the next assignment for audit. 
Okay, so make sure that you plan properly. Don't wait until last minute, okay? Okay, sir. Okay. All right. So next, uh, basically, we want to continue to discuss on uh, on on the requirement on the requirement. Uh, last last meeting we have stopped at at, at what class? Who, who remember? What class? Class five. Uh, five. We completed. We completed all class five. Or still five to two. Not yet. Okay, five two two, right? So five two two. Please share your your presentation and explain to me. Five two two. Five two two. Okay. Okay, Shafi. Right. Please continue, Shafi. Hello. Hello. Ya yeah, ya yeah, ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Oh dengar ah. Ah dengar dengar dengar. Aduh mic rosak tu. <laughs> Dia saya sambung Aduh. dengan lima point dua point dua communicating the quality policy. When okay. the quality policy is documented in the ISO 9001 in 2005, hmm. it must be readable and available as documented information by those hmm. affected by the QMS. It must hmm. be maintained as a document with all the control necessary. So, mm. all the employees must be aware of the quality policy and the organization need to ensure that the requirement it contain are understood, implemented and maintained. The way the policy is made in public very depending on the place. Mm. Uh, below are the example of the method so we have to, uh, the company use when disclosing and raising awareness about the policy. The first one is okay. when the and establishment entrance, the mm. description on the employee, uh, mm. for example, the ID badges, description mm. on the wallpaper of the company, cell phone and computer, controller mm. copies distributed in location with heavy employee traffic, and lastly, the description on the company website. Okay, good. All right. So, you you have to understand, eh? uh, number, uh, we for, for, for this requirement, we have to communicate the policy. Yeah, we have to communicate the quality policy. Uh, first, we must make sure that we have the policy. The policy must be documented. Yeah. So I expect that every company, uh, every company. I mean, uh, for 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 our class, we have four companies. Okay. So every company, you should have your own policy. And the policy should be documented. Yeah. Uh, beside beside documented, the policy must be uh, uh, available. Uh, your your policy must be readable. Yeah. Like your like Shafiq explained just now. Yeah. And you must make sure also the quality policy is. Uh, uh, is understood. Yeah? Every employee in your organization must understand quality policy. Yeah, so you must address in your quality manual. You must address in your quality manual how to make sure every employees in your organization understand the quality policy. Yeah, uh, for example, like. Like Shafiq just just uh, explained here, we can use banner, yeah. We can use uh, we we can use uh, description on ID badges, yeah? De description on the wallpaper, and so on. Those are the uh, mechanism to make sure that come quality policy 
are being communicated within the organization. So you must declare in your in your quality manual, right? Okay, good. Next, next. Okay, five point three. Continue. Hello. Assalamualaikum, Doctor. Yeah, Waalaikumsalam. Okay, so basically, uh, I will explain about 5.3 organizational roles, responsibilities, and authorities. These okay. are the list of the clause. So I just okay. read out before I explain. Uh, top okay. management should ensure that the responsibilities and authorities for relevant roles are assigned, communicated, mm. and understood within the organization. Top mm. management shall assign the responsibility and authority for first ensuring that the quality management system conforms mm. to the requirements of its international standard. Next, mm -hmm. ensuring that the processes are delivering their intended purposes. Mm. Uh, third, reporting on the performance of the quality management system and on opportunities for improvement, in particular in top management. And mm. Report, ensuring the promotion of customer focus throughout the organization. And the last one, ensuring that the integrity of the quality management system is maintained when changes to the quality management system are planned and implemented. So, okay. basically... Right. Okay. So, what you need to do, actually? Um, basically, this subclass, for me, mm. uh, it will requires that the top management had to provide adequate resources and mm. and some responsibilities and authorities that necessary for their organization in each of the employees. Okay, so you have to uh, for 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 this class, eh, five point three. You must understand two two terms here. Number one, you must understand responsibilities. Number two, you must understand authorities. There are two two different things. Yeah, what what is responsibility? What is authority? So top management must make sure that responsibility and authority are assigned. Now, now are assigned meaning meaning every every employee in the organization, every employee in in your company must know what what is what or uh, what are their responsibilities. Okay, number one. Number two, they must know what are their authorities, what are the authorities given for them to deliver uh, the task, right? So you have to make sure uh, you have you have that one. So normal normal common practice for any organization to define responsibility and authorities is through job description for responsibility. And they define authorities through organization chart. Uh, so you must make sure that your company have a job description, job description for all employees in your in your organization. And you should have a company organization chart, yeah, to indicate. Uh, authorities given to a certain uh, position in the in your company. That's 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 the first thing that you need to do, and then you must make sure that responsibilities and authorities are communicated. Uh, just uh, just now you just you just uh, you just assign you just assign the responsibility and authorities, and then you must make sure that the authorities. And, and responsibilities are communicated. Yeah, you must make sure that the responsibilities and authorities are given yeah, to the to the employee. And you must make sure also the responsibilities and authorities are understood. Uh, there are there, there are three things: you must assign, you must communicate, you must understood. Yeah, you must make sure that people are given 
responsibilities people uh, the responsibilities are being communicated and the responsibilities and authorities are being uh, must be understood yeah by by people within the organization okay so you can uh, you can uh, you can go further top management shall assign responsibility and authority for for this one this one this one this one meaning to say that every employer every employee sorry every employee in your organization should have their own job description and authorities given for them okay understand or not understand uh, you must address in your quality manual yeah how do you define responsibilities how do you define authorities how you how you want to make sure that the authorities and the responsibilities and authorities are communicated and and understood within the organization understand or not hello yes sir okay all right yes, all right so uh, then you see the word uh, a b c reporting the performance and so that one okay and you just see e e e is ensuring the integrity of the quality management system in man is maintained when changes to the quality management system are planned and implemented what does it mean what does it mean here what does it mean It means that you must have like a succession plan for your for your employees. Uh, you must have a succession plan for your employees if uh, in in the event where where any changes happen in the organization. For example, if you have a new process, if you have a new product. If you have a new uh, a new customer, for example, yeah. If you have a new uh, uh, a new uh, a new uh, regulatory a uh, policy from the from the authorities, and you must make sure that the integrity of the quality management system is maintained, and 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 the QMS. Is not affected by the changes, so you must have a plan for that. Okay. All right. Okay. Next. Next. Okay. Uh, so that one you can. Uh, this one you can skip. You skip the one. This is. This is the outer. Uh, this is responsibility. Okay. This is responsibility. Okay. Skip. Okay. Skip. Okay, that's all. Uh, yes, that's all. That, that, yes, that's all. Okay, those are the uh, sample or example of authorities. So you must be sure that every employees in your organization are given responsibilities and authorities. Yeah. Then the authorities, the responsibilities, and the responsibility and authority must be must be at must be uh, uh, addressed in your quality manual. Okay. All right. Next. 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 Uh, stop sharing now. Okay. okay, stop sharing. Next. Yeah. Okay, next. Next, Ezra. A doctor. Okay, class six. Right? Yeah. Can all right, all right, all right. Okay. Yeah. Clearly. Um, my name. Is uh, by Sue. the way, have by, by 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 the way, have you submitted the quiz quiz number one and quiz number two? Yes, doctor. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, continue. All right. Run. A doctor, we are from group three. My name is Shulin Zhou, 257 
uh, next to my preference. Okay. Okay. Uh. 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 uh let's talk about the uh, class six point one action to address the risks and opportunities. Uh. For the first one, okay. when we planning for the quality management systems, our organization should consider the four point one, the internal and the external issues, and the four point two, the expect expectation and the needs of the interest parties, and then we determine okay. the risks and the opportunities that we need to address. Uh, the mm -hmm. purpose number one is to give the assurance that the quality management systems can achieve its intended result. For the second one, yeah. it's enhance the desirable effect. Uh, for example, like uh, uh, you, uh, how to use your opportunities mm. to uh, enhance the desirable effect. For third mm -hmm. one is prevent and reduce the undesirable effect. Uh, when you determine the risks, uh, you need to know how to reduce the risks and uh, how to avoid the risks. For the last one is uh, achievement, uh, achieve the improvement by uh, address your opportunity and the risks. That's all. Okay. So what you need to do uh, uh, in order to, to fulfill this requirement for your company? Uh, we should to uh to maximize the opportunity and to minimize the risks. How? Uh, by uh, uh, I don't know <laughs> how. <laughs> uh, how? The question is how. Uh. Oh, for example, like uh, uh, speculate uh, stock in stock, speculate in stock. Uh, if you okay. want, uh, uh, it, uh, if you determine is uh, not large risks, so you should uh, stop to speculate in stocks. Mm. It will avoid the risks. Avoid okay. the risks. Right. For example, like so okay, that that is example. Okay, but in your system, how you want to address this requirement? Uh, you want to address this requirement so that uh, your system meet meet the intention of the requirement. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> you, you you don't have any idea. Yes. <laughs> you don't have any idea yet. Okay. Basically, for six point one point one, we are talking about uh, risk and opportunity. What we can do in our organization. We can do uh, analysis, like uh, uh, failure mode and effect analysis for our process, for our product, for our for our service. So we can we can use a uh, tools like FMEA, failure mode and effect analysis, yeah, to address what are the potential risks, what are the potential uh, effect from the risk and what are the actions that need to be taken in the event when the risk will happen. Okay, so all this we can address it in what we call a failure mode and effect analysis study. Yeah, so you can address that in your system. So go back and uh, study what is failure mode effect analysis. Uh, I think you have you have uh, discovered uh, this uh, tool when you take uh, BJMQ three zero one three. One of the chapter is about failure mode and effect analysis. So yes. if you do that, yes. uh, yeah, you you still remember, okay? Yeah? If you still remember, then you can you can use the tool, yeah, to address this requirement. Then you can put. Uh, in your quality manual. So you need to identify all the risks uh, and then you need to identify what are the potential failure of your of of, of your of, of the potential risks. Yeah. 
and then uh, what is the effect and so on. You can follow the you can follow the the format of FMEA. Okay. Okay, doctor. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Next. Next. Next is six plus six point one point two is okay. what organization shall plan to take action to address risks and opportunities? Mm -hmm. how, how first integrate and implement the actions into its quality management system process, which is on mm. class 4.4. And second, mm. okay. evaluate and effective effectiveness of these actions. Mm. Okay. okay, actions take... I think, uh, mm. I think this one is related to 6.1.1. Eh? Uh, you to to uh, to qualify your company to meet this 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 requirement. You say uh, you uh, you do failure mode and effect analysis. That's 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 enough because if you do failure mode and effect analysis, you will evaluate the effectiveness and so on. If you follow the if you follow the, the the format. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, right. That's 6.1.2. Next. Okay, 6.2. Okay, continue. Continue. It's a quality objective and planning to achieve them. Okay. Point two point one. The organization. The organization should establish quality objective at relevant function level and process needed for the quality management. The quality objective should first be consistent with the quality policy, be measurable, take into mm. account applicable requirement, be relevant mm. to conformity of product and service and the enhancement of customer satisfaction. Next, okay. be, moni be, moni be monitored, be communicated, communicated and be updated as appropriate. Next is 6.2.2. .2. When planning how to achieve its quality objective, the, organi mm. the organization should determine first what will be done, Next, uh, second what, what resource will be required, uh, who will be responsible when it will be complete, completed and how the result will be evaluated. Okay, so for six to one, what you need to do actually, in order to fulfill this requirement, what you need to do? What you need to do? Six to one. So if you read the if you read the requirement, it says here the organization shall establish quality objective at relevant function level and processes needed for the quality management system. It means that every department in your organization should have their own objective. So if you have five departments. So all the five departments should have their own objective. That's number one. So the objective must be consistent, measurable, must fulfill what we call a SMART criteria. SMART criteria is S-M-A-R-T. Your objective must be specific. Your objective must be measurable. Your objective must be attainable. Your objective must be real, realistic, and your your objective should have a time period. Uh, so that's number one. That that's, that's the first thing that you need to do. If you have five department, yeah, you should have objective of each department. So maybe department A they have they have three or four objective, or five or six objective. Department B you have. Uh, uh, need seven or uh, six or seven objective. Department C, they have five or four objective. For example, yeah. So the appropriate number of objective 
is uh, from four to four to seven. Yeah. Uh, if if too too many, that's 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 too too difficult for you to achieve. Yeah. If if too less, then if uh, it's not practical, it's 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 not real. Okay. So you set about about four to about four to six objective for each department. Uh, then your objective must be uh, monitor. Uh, you must make sure that the, you have you have you have a system to monitor your objective. You have a system uh, to communicate your objective, and you must have a system also uh, to update your objective. Uh, so you you must address in how you how you want to monitor your objective. How you want to communicate the objective? How you want to update your objective, if applicable? So all this must be addressed in your system, right? So depend uh, depend on your on your organization structure. So if you have four department, for example, they have. Each department should have their own objective, and each department maybe have four or five objective. You must set, and your your objective must meet a smart criteria. S M A R T, and your objective must be monitored, must be communicated, and must be updated. Right. So, and then six two two. What you need to do? What you need to do for six two two? In order to fulfill this requirement, achieve its quality. So how how? What you need to do? What you need to do in order to make sure that the the, the objective are achieved. Six two two. What you need to do is you need to create. You need to create a some sort of a uh, a metric table. Yeah, a metric table stated that oh, okay. Uh, no, the first the first column could could be your objective, and then uh, what to achieve. Yeah, what to achieve. Uh, then you have to uh, to consider. What resources that need uh, that need to be provided that need to be provided in order to achieve the objective, and then you need to decide who are responsible to make sure that the objective is achieved. Yeah, then you need to decide, and then you need to decide uh, to estimate when the objective will be completed yeah and then last but not least you must state also how you evaluate how you evaluate the result the achievement of your uh, of your objective so you need to have a metric table lah. you need to have a metric table uh, you need to state what to be done what resources how many people are required yeah who is responsible? Then you put in in a metric table. Then you put in your quality manual. Then, then you fulfill the requirement. Okay, understand? All right. Yes. Sir. All right. Okay. So six two two. Next. Six three. Uh, next. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, when the organization determined the need of change to the quality management system, the change shall be carried out in a planner manner. Mm. So, uh, C4.4 uh, is a quality management system and uh, process. So, uh, the organization shall consider uh, a, the purpose of the chain and their potential uh, consequences. Uh, 
RB and the integrity of, of the quality management system. C, uh, the ability of resources and uh, D, the, uh, the all local location responsibility and authorities. Okay. So, again, what you need to do for your company in order to fulfill this requirement? What you need to do? What you need to do? Uh, okay. You have to do? You have to do what? You have to? You have to? You have to plan. Anda perlu merancam. Uh, they say that we, uh, if any changes, sekiranya ada apa, apa perubahan di dalam sistem kita, is any changes yeah, that happen in our system those are in a planned manner so any changes basically is a plan changes yeah so how how we want to make sure that the changes are planned yeah so of course in order to make sure the changes are planned, we, we, we should know the purpose of the changes. We should we should know that even though the even though the changes happen, the integrity of the of the QMS are maintained. We also need to plan for for resources. If any changes, we should plan for for to ensure that resources are available and to cater for the changes. And then we also need to consider the allocation and reallocation. Uh, maybe we, we reassign the responsibility and authorities. If the changes, so that is what you need to do. You need to, if, if people change, change department, for example, so you responsibility and authorities for for the for the affected people uh, in the change. Okay? So those are the things that you need to do. So you, you have to address this in your, in your system. Okay. Right. So next. That's all for so for clause six. Okay. That's all for clause six. So clause seven. Okay. Where is clause seven? Group four. Group four. Okay. 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 Continue plus seven. Hello, good morning, everyone. Hello, good morning. Um, we are group four. Uh, we are group four and want to present about the content of ISO nine thousand one cloud seven. Okay. 
7.1 resource. So uh, this section uh, take a broad view of the item in order to uh, realize the requirement of uh, ISO 9001. 7.1.1. .1. .1. The thought management uh, has the responsibility to ensure the natural and the um, availability of resource to uh, maintain or develop the quality management system. Um, this is typically uh, done through the business or the and the uh, quality practice. So by having adequate resource, it is vital to ensure the product conformity or certify customer requirement. Uh, such as uh, by having adequate personal material or the equipment to ensure the timely production and delivery the product to the customer. Okay. 7.1.2 is people. The mm. organization should uh, determine the uh, uh, determine and provide the person necessary for the effective implementation of the quality management system and also for the operation and control of the process. And 7.1.3 is infrastructure. Um, the only uh, relevant requirement is that uh, we must determine, uh, provide and maintain, uh, maintain that which is necessary to make conforming product and service requirement. Um, mm -hmm. Such as uh, facility, production, equipment, IT, mm. and so on. Uh. And mm. For example, if you are a manufacturing metal stamping or storing metal product, mm -hmm. um, a leaky roof and no enclosed travel pass between the building, so this is may not be suitable to uh, ensure you can consistently provide conforming product. Mm. That's all. Okay, so in general, in general, in uh, what what uh, are the requirement of the ISO that you need to fulfill uh, in order to 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 meet plus seven requirement? Um, what you need to what what you need to fulfill? Maybe we can uh, provide the necessary monetary and physical asset. Okay. Uh, the, the key word here is uh, resources. Yeah? You need to provide all the required resources. Yeah. Okay. You need to provide all required resources that, that are needed. Yeah. To provide a product or service that meet customer requirement. That is the thing that you have to consider. That, that is the first thing that you need to understand. So, resources, when we talk about resources, you need to provide people. You need to provide infrastructure. What else? You need to provide what, what else? In terms of uh, resources. You have to have people. You have to have infrastructure. People, you must make sure that your people are competent. In terms of infrastructure, you, we, we need to have uh, all the required machineries, all the required building, all the required support, uh, uh, support, uh, support service, yeah, in order to, in order to uh, make our, to, to produce our product or service. Okay, so we need people, we need infrastructure, then we need what? Environment. We need environment. We need environment that is suitable to 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 produce our product. What else? We need people. We need infrastructure. We need uh, environment. What else? Ah, uh, we need we need this. Ah, uh, this one. We need monitoring and measuring resources. What is monitoring and measuring? 
measuring resources. Yeah. What is monitoring and measuring resources? Oh, huh? Example of monitoring and measuring resources? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what is what is monitoring and measuring resources? Hello? 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 Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> Lost already. Hello, everybody. Hello. Yes, doctor, I can hear you. Okay, okay. Ah, so you 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 need to make sure that you have you 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 have your people, you have your your infrastructure, you have environment, you have monitoring resources, you have uh, uh, knowledge. What else? What else you have? What, what? You, you, you need to have a documented information. Yeah. So all those things that you need to, you, 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 you need to uh, provide in order to produce your product in some ways. Yeah. Uh, so in our class, we will prepare documented information uh, that is required to make sure that the system is implemented. So the documented information that we want to produce in our class is a quality manual, a quality procedure, and work instruction. So quality manual, quality procedure, work instruction are included uh, as uh, documented information. That, that also we consider as a resources that are needed by the organization yeah, to make sure that they can produce the product or service that will meet customer requirement. Okay, so that is in general about uh, class, class 7. We must have measuring equipment, we must have knowledge, we must have people, we must have uh, infrastructure including uh, support, uh, support uh, services, yeah, all those things. So class seven basically is you need to provide all the resources that are needed, yeah, for your product. Okay. All right. So continue. Okay. Okay. Uh, doctor can hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, for the clause 7.1.4, it is about the environment environment mm -hmm. for the operation of processes. Okay. okay based, on, based on this clause, a suitable environment can be a combination of human and physical factors, such as got three, social, physical, and psychological. In the mm. social example, non-discriminatory, calm, non-confrontational. For the physical, is mm. about temperature, heat, mm. humidity, light, air flow, hygiene, and noise. Mm. For the psychological, is about stress reducing, mm. but not prevention, emotional, protective. Okay. So in general, we must we must provide a suitable environment that is needed by your product and service. That's all. Either social, physical, or psychological. It doesn't matter as long as it is suitable uh, for your product and service. Okay, understand? You must declare. You must declare in your uh, in your system. Okay, uh, okay, about this clause, doctor, it's more on environmental, right? Jungle perspective, around like that. Uh, environmental, uh, environment, environment that is needed by your product and service only. 
we are not talking about uh, environment that affect your neighbors. Okay. Okay. We are talking about environment that is needed for your product and service only. Not environment that is uh, that that affect your your neighbors or your other people. Understand? Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> okay. Right. Next. Okay, next. 7.1.5 is monitoring and measuring resources. Okay. Okay, in, in general, the organization shall ensure that the resources provided are suitable for specific type of monitoring and measurement activities being undertaken. And the next one are maintain to ensure they are continuing fitness for their purpose. I cannot hear you. <laughs> Where, 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 where are you? Warren Kai, you, you, you are in UUM, ah? Yeah, in UUM. You are at UUM, ah? Yes, doctor. Uh, why, why, why your line is not, why your, why your line is not, not, not clear? Okay, if you have time, ah, Warren Kai, if you have time, you can come to my office, yeah? Uh, maybe maybe next week, yeah, and uh, we can uh, discuss further. Yeah, hello. Sure, sure, doctor, no problem. Uh, okay, okay. You, if, if you have time, you can come to my office. Maybe next next week, lah. This week, I'm out out station actually. Today, today I have class in. I I I'm uh, at at Langkawi Port now. <laughs> Wow, great. Uh, <laughs> okay, next, so, before, uh, next week before I go to... Okay, next time you come to my office. office. Okay, sure. Uh, okay, okay. Mm. All right. Okay. So, i continue next, please. Next. Okay, um, in this clause, we got a measurement of okay. traceability. This clause uh, is when measurement traceability is a requirement. Yeah, your voice is yeah, intermittent. I can hear you, oh. sometimes I cannot hear you. Okay, now can hear or not? Hmm. When uh, measurement yeah, traceability is a requirement, <laughs> Okay, because Mike got some problem here. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, let me continue. When measurement traceability is a requirement or is considered by the organization to be an essential part of providing confidence in the validity of measurement result, measuring requirements should be calibrated or verified or both at specific intervals or prior to use against measurement standards traceable to international or national measurement standards. When no such standard exists, the base used for calibration or verification should be retained as documented information. The next one is identify in order to determine their status, safeguarded mm. for adjustment, damage, or deterioration that would invalidate the calibration status and subsequent measurement result. Next. Mm. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, for that. Okay, that's all for that clause. Uh, okay. I can make and conclude. For, 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 for that clause, eh? Seven, yeah. seven, one, five. 715, what you need to do actually? What you need to do in order to fulfill those requirements? Okay, uh, what I need to do is make sure that all tools, machinery, calibrated and working properly, working well. Okay, okay, okay. good. All tools that you use, yeah, that you use to make the conformity of your product. Uh, all the machine or tool that you use to to measure the conformity of product that need to be calibrated okay so you have to identify all the machine 
all the tools that you use to conform uh, the conformity of your product, you must make sure that the machine and tools that you use are calibrated. That's number one. Okay. Then number two, what you need to do? Okay, that's um, must like uh, achieve uh, what, how do we much um, memenuhi piawaian ISO 9001 all the tools and machineries. Yeah. Yeah. First you identify and then you need to calibrate you need to calibrate your equipment. Okay, first you identify the equipment and then you need to calibrate the equipment and then what you need to do? After you calibrate, what you need to do? Declare. Okay. De uh, yes, you need to declare. Oh, you need to make sure that you 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 your your machine and your 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 machine and your measuring devices safe in a safe place. Yeah, you safeguard it. You safeguard it from uh, from damage. Okay, uh, you must know okay. the calibration status. Uh, you must know when the equipment is due for for the next calibration and so on. So you should have a calibration schedule for your equipment. Okay, right? that's a uh, then you have to make sure that the schedule are followed, and then you must make sure that you send the calibration to to, to the appropriate bodies. Yeah. Okay, that's a live yeah, so make sure that right. make sure that all the measurement that you that, that, that you get is a right is a reliable measurement measurement that you can rely on. Okay, okay that's a okay, okay. All right. All right. Okay. So I think um and then uh seven seven what seven okay. So we start okay. we start at uh, this is the last the last class for today. Seven seven one six. Continue. Okay. Next is uh, the last one for class seven is a. Eh? No. Yes, uh, seven, seven, one, yeah. The seven last one. Seven one six. And yeah, seven, then, one, then, one, then six. we can, then we continue the documented information the next class. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay. Uh, the last one for today is organizational knowledge. Next. Okay. okay, organizational knowledge is knowledge specific to the organizational. It is generally gained by experience. It is information that is used and shared to achieve the organization objective. Mm. Organizational mm. knowledge can be based on internal source, example, intellectual property, knowledge gained from experience, lesson mm. learned from failure and successful projects. Capturing mm. and sharing undocumented knowledge and experience, the result of mm. improvement in processes, product and service, external sources, example, standard academy, um, conference gathering knowledge from customer or external provider. Next. Okay, next is... Okay, for eh? oh no no no. Okay, so from there I can conclude um operation and its process is achieved by by what by the knowledge that the person got. Maybe total line is not good. Yeah, yeah. 